Hello and welcome to Fact or Fiction, a show where we discuss what made the news this week and whether it was real or not. I'm Suyash Barve and with me is Jensi Jacob from Boom. Hi Jensi. Hi Suyash. Alright, let's jump right in. He hasn't even been in politics for five full days. Not even an actual working week has gone by and already superstar Rajnikanth has become a victim of fake news. Welcome to politics, am I right Jensi? That's true and, and he's going to be judged every day of his life, you know, not just on probably at a time when a movie is going to be launched. Yeah, I mean, this is now straight off the deep end. What's happened here? So, uh, you know, there is this uh, image which actually was going around where they, uh, where they showed that uh, UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath is sitting with a, you know, with, with several, with, with a group of Hindu priests, all saffron clad. And uh, somewhere there, you can also see Rajnikanth. You know, with, with Adityanath. With, with, with Yogi Adityanath and all the, all the sages. And uh, the context to this is very clear. Now, since the day that Rajnikanth has announced that he's launching his own party in Tamil Nadu, there has been this like, uh, you know, extreme talk about how probably he's the B team of the RSS and the BJP. Right. So it's not the BJP and the RSS directly pay playing along with him, but they have put him as a front so that he manages to, you know, uh, kill all the Dravidian parties as far as the popularity is concerned, and then they enter in with an alliance with him. Right. That's the reason why this image came in. Now, if you look at the text in this image, uh, it talks about, uh, you, uh, there's a text which sums up saying that you want to know what is spiritual politics, zoom in and you'll see this is spiritual politics. Now spiritual politics is a term that Rajnikanth used when he launched his party, where he probably wanted to say that this is a party which is going to be devoid of any religion and caste. And that's the reason why this image has been photoshopped. So this original image is an image where Yogi Adityanath was sitting with a group of people and they were talking about Mahakumbh and the arrangements for it and someone decided Nice place, there's an empty space there. There's an empty so, spot there. Let's just put Subhasa <laughs> Rajnikanth right into let's it. Let's put Rajnikanth there and let's you know, put this out so that you can create more discussion around this entire topic. Right, so the image is obviously photoshopped. In that sense, this new story has a lot in common with those uh, Hollywood action scenes. Yeah, they're both fake. Now, women's issues have certainly become front and centre in the news media over the past few years. But this has also opened the door to political opportunism. Uh, Gen C, we're going back to one of our favourite subjects, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He claims to have relaxed regulations for women travelling to Hajj in Saudi Arabia. That's true. But is that true? So, uh, you know, here's before I come to the fact that whether it is true or not, let me give the context of this because at the end of the day, this is Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Whatever he says, we should take it uh, seriously and also give the right uh, context to this. Now, his annual, the last Man Ki Baat uh, radio address that he did on 31st December, he talked about how his government has actually delivered Muslim women uh, who want to go for Hajj but necessarily needed to have a male companion earlier and how his government has relaxed that rule. Now, when you say something like this, you necessarily think that the Prime Minister has said this, which means that yes, any Muslim woman can go. But that's that's not the complete truth. Uh, now, let me give the context of this uh, once more, that Saudi Arabia is a country which has to relax the rules. And they relaxed these rules many years back. Right. And as a country which wants to send its Muslim woman uh, for pilgrimage, they want they should have come up to speed with this rule much long back, you know. But they took a lot of time for this. And also one more thing I would like to clarify here is that not every Muslim woman can go without a male companion. You need to be above 45 years of age. If you're below 45 years of age, you need to have a male companion to go right. for this pilgrimage or to get a visa for this. If you're above 45 years of age, you can go in groups of four without a male companion. So this detail, which actually was very necessary because at the end of the day, he's talking to the country and there's you know, millions of people listening to him. He should have clarified it and should have given the context to it. Though only one credit I would like to give the government that they managed to push the Hajj committee to ensure that their rules are up to speed. Uh, you know, a bit late, but at the same time, it has been done. Right. A lot of these rules are very archaic, I must That's say. True. Uh, but uh, credit by credit is due. Uh, but the claim by itself is partly false. For our final story, we're going to focus on the violent protests that occurred in Mumbai over the last two days. Uh, now, in these protests, there seemed to be a lot of content already. Yeah. Nushans were already flooded with videos of violence, videos of vandalism. It didn't seem like the fake news brigade had to step in. But then this video hit.
Gen Z, so this video, fake, not fake? Definitely fake. Uh, there's so many original videos yesterday uh, with people, you know, getting it from various parts of the city and, uh, you know, of cars being turned down and um, uh, st buses being stoned and roads being blocked. There were actually no uh, fake videos that were going around yesterday. Today, this uh, video surfaced on Twitter where you can very clearly see that people are stoning uh, not just the train which was stationary, but also a passing train. Right. Uh, now, SM Hoaxlayer, another fake news website, uh, he has gone and searched for this, um, for this video and he's got a midday story uh, from Jan 3rd, 2015, uh, where it says that this incident happened at Diva. And at Diva railway station, there was some uh, tension which built up because of the late schedule of trains and commuters had come out for protest and they alleged uh, that the policemen, instead of talking to them, started lati charging them. That's when they really got violent and they started uh, stoning these trains. Now, uh, you know, it's very convenient for someone to really pick this video up and put this out and say that, you know, this is how Dalit protests are and that's why they should never be allowed to protest. <coughs> but definitely, this video fake. Right, so violence did happen in Bombay. There were incidents of vandalism. There are definitely real videos out there. But this particular one is from three years ago, not from Mumbai, 100% false. That wraps it up for this week. But before we go, here at Boom Live, our mission is pretty simple. We want to bust fake news. So we're going where fake news lives and thrives on your WhatsApp. You can subscribe to our Boom Live broadcast by WhatsApping us on this number. Our sincere hope is that we bust a fake news story before it even reaches you. You can also use that number to WhatsApp us a story that looks dubious or you think might be fake so we can tell you whether it's fact or fiction. Alright, you can find more fact checks on boomlive.in and you can follow us here and here. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.